Okay guys, today we're going to try something different. We're going to try mullet style. Episode 2 of Bad Batch in the front. Episode 3 of Bad Batch in the back. So episode 2 of Bad Batch was pretty good. We got to see some pretty cool stuff. Including the fact that we got to see... Um, we, we, we got to see... Um, everybody got to go to... Um, this episode didn't have the crosshairs continuation. Because we took Omega to this planet... Where we know where we got to see Clone Wars alumni Cutler Clane, who was still married to the same Twi'lek he was with, and so that was pretty exciting. And this episode dealt with a Mando Easter egg in the fact that the government, the Empire, wants chain codes to be able to tra travel to other planets. That's a requirement. That's what the Empire is doing is requiring everyone to have chain codes. So this had some cool action, some great character development for both Hunter and Omega. I'm going to give this episode of The Bad Batch a 8.4 out of 10. Pretty solid episode, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Now, let's get to the episode 3 review. Episode 3 Replacements deals with Crosshairs being assigned to join a new elite squad of clones. I mean, non-clones. An elite squad of the first generation of Stormtroopers. And they're sent back to the same village that... um. Saw Gerrera, people are on where the Bad Batch did not complete their mission. And they're sent there, and Crosshairs, as their leader, convinces them that they need to do this. One of the soldiers doesn't do it, so he gets shot. We're also realizing that um, the Bad Batch members are now standing on this planet because their compressor, just like um, Empire Strikes Back, is having problems. So they go track this creature that feeds on electricity. Some sort of dragon. So that was pretty interesting. And Omega's the one that basically the MVP that saves everyone. But we also learn, not only do we have great character development in this episode, but we also learn that the Kaminoans are planning something pretty big in terms of making sure their cloning project stays alive. We'll have to see what that is, but that's going to go pretty exciting. And, and so then you have Omega and them trying to do their thing, but also something's wrong with Wrecker's head. I think his inhibitor chip must be activating itself because he's got some big kind of issues. So it'll be interesting to see what happens. I'm going to give episode 3 of Bad Batch a 7.3 out of 10. Very strong episode. Pretty good. Um, got some cool moments. But I thought episode 2's character development was much stronger. This episode also has some really good stuff moving forward. But overall, each of these episodes I think are pretty good. I hope you guys enjoyed my Bad Batch reviews. And I'll see you in the next video.